in the top 10 most harmful books of the 19th and 20th centuries. Number one on their list was the Communist Manifesto that inspired the deaths of more than 100 million people in the 20th century alone. Adolf Hitler's Mein Kampf that helped to bring about the Holocaust was listed at number two. While the quotations from Chairman Mao, who founded Communist China, was number three. At number four, as the first American title on the list, was the Kinsey Reports. Sexual behavior in the human male, followed by sexual behavior in the human female, which, when first released, was likened to dropping an atom bomb on American society. In 1989, a report from the National Research Council published a statement that American society can be divided into two categories, the pre-Kinsey and post-Kinsey eras. How could one man's influence come to define our culture and produce what some consider the most harmful book in American history? It would find its way into every aspect of our decision-making in our lives. Dr. Judith Reisman is renowned for her expertise on the damaging influence of pornography. She has testified repeatedly before the U.S. Congress. Her research has been used by the FBI and by governments throughout the Western world when determining their policies on obscenity. She is author of the book, Kinsey, Crimes and Consequences, in which she details the devastating impact of Alfred Kinsey in America an influence she believes is behind the growing number of sexual predators who seem to come from all walks of life. Teachers, doctors, lawyers, judges, uh, people are being caught right and left, uh, sacrificing their lives and their families' lives to their addictions to child pornography. How do you think it happened? It did not start today. It started back, back with Kinsey and who then kicked off what has become today's, uh, today's horror show. Researchers argue that America's current problem with sexual predators is the fallout from the sexual revolution, a movement said to be inspired by the late Alfred Kinsey and his famous Kinsey reports first published in 1948. According to the conservative organization Human Events, the Kinsey Report is listed among the top 10 most harmful books of the 19th and 20th centuries. Mass media seems to have always been on the side of Kinsey and his philosophy. A philosophy carried out by Hugh Hefner in 1953 when he launched Playboy magazine. That same year, Kinsey released his K-bomb, Sexual Behavior in the Human Female, the second book in his report on human sexuality. Hefner made an immediate association between his soft porn magazine and Kinsey's research. I referred to it in the first introduction to the first issue. and called it the other great book that was coming out in 1953. Max Lerner. Uh, the historian and a good friend of mine said that uh, Kinsey was the researcher and I was the pamphleteer. And uh, it's an interesting way of looking at it. I certainly do think that in a very real way, the sexual revolution began in 1953, you know, with the second book and the beginning of Playboy. Hugh Hefner had been under the influence of Kinseyan philosophy since the release of the male volume in 1948. He had even written about it in a college publication years before he started Playboy magazine. Half a century later, in Playboy's 50th anniversary issue, Hefner paid special tribute to Alfred Kinsey, celebrating the man who had helped him launch the sexual revolution. But Playboy represented more than just nude photos of the girl next door. According to Hefner, the magazine was, quote, a statement of rebellion without question. The first official Playboy Playmate was named Janet Pilgrim, directly intended to mock America's Puritan heritage. In time, Hefner would publish the Playboy philosophy, a new morality for the post-Kinsey era. Just as Kinsey had gone all over the country preaching the message of sexual reform, Hefner followed his example, giving speeches, appearing on talk shows, and speaking in public forums as the pamphleteer for Kinsey's sexual revolution.
So what you're saying, Mr. Hafner, is that, is that we should encourage premarital sexual relations? I think that we should encourage the notion that uh, sex can be uh, right and proper in marriage or out of marriage. In time, Hafner set up the Playboy Foundation, which became, quote, one of the major sources of income for the Kinsey Institute. Should America be disturbed that the father of her sexual revolution, who changed American law and laid the foundation for sex education, had such associations? If America continues to be influenced by Kinsey, what will it mean for her future?